like for example you want to change your ISO yeah you just have to press this button up here it says uh, ISO there yeah I see it. press that and it will show you all the different uh, ISO see. speed that you, you have yeah. with your camera yeah so to change it change it you just have to use this dial uh-huh so as you can see you can change it there auto to up to the highest uh, ISO speed which is a uh, 6400 and would you use also most of the time or if you're like, a photographer? Uh, like for daytime yeah you can use this uh, we do we usually use 100 yeah. ISO or 200 I see and what if about you're shooting yeah. indoors or uh, indoor or outdoor simultaneously you can just use uh, 400 okay but if you're shooting indoor like uh, nighttime you can use the 800 1600 up to the highest uh, 6400 uh, ISO okay I see and also by changing your uh, you can also use not just this dial yeah but you can also use this one ah oh, those buttons the arrow I the understand arrow button, yes. oh, that's left, good to know left and right buttons so ISO is the first thing you might change is that right you'd look uh, at the ISO first yes, perhaps yes, okay yes. So ISO, well then. with photo shoot with models if it's uh, outdoor and yeah. like what we did on the beach uh, I started using uh, ISO 400. 400, and that yeah. was because it was getting darker there, wasn't yeah. it? It was beginning to go yeah. down the sun. But there. if we're gonna, if we started at around uh, in the morning, yeah, I might use uh, ISO 200. You might use that. Yeah, because it's already very sunny. Yeah. So on, on the ISO, so you, so you'll change that during the course mm -hmm. of the day, basically. 200. Yeah? You, you don't normally leave it on auto, do you? No. No, no you always set your ISO. Yeah. So on your ISO button, and then. I mean, you'll go up to what maximum will you normally go up to? Up to only uh, 1600. That's maximum because after that you get maybe too much noise in the yeah grainy, grainy and not uh, acceptable. Yeah. Not, okay. Not, you can you can if you want that effect you can have it like you can do it uh, with the uh, with the uh, post process also. Yeah. But then you know it's much better to use at the most uh, 1600. You see, even with Max. the weddings. Usually, I would go around uh, 800 ISO to 1600 only. Yeah, max. Yeah. And the lower the so better. If you, the yeah. lower the better. Yeah. So if you're inside the church with yeah. the flashes, maybe. Like for example, if you're starting to just shoot on the preparation, on the details, and everything like that, yeah. you can start uh, ISO 200 or 400. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the uh, lighting. Like yeah. what we did in uh, in the wedding, we were outside shooting the uh, details. Yes, right. So usually I used uh, between ISO 200 to 400. On yeah. That. And then uh, when we went to the church, that's where I adjusted my my set my ISO to 800 between 800 to 1600 up to the uh, the reception. Because a lot less light yeah. there, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Okay. So that, that that's your ISO. Um, So thank you, thank you very much for watching so far. I think you're going to find the next part of the uh, uh, video very instructional and also very interesting. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Okay.